Hey guys, that phone guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you my target bin finds. I got these all today, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I found um, is this Samsung tablet. I don't know what tablet it is. It's a pretty weird tablet. Apparently, it's eight gigabytes. Um, because it has like this uh, charger. It kind of looks like um an Apple charger, like this, but it actually isn't, and I don't have the charger for it. Looks like a basic like Android for a cheap tablet and, and it really easily cracked. It had one crack originally, but just from pressing down really lightly on the screen, it grew another crack. And like it's weird because at first like the crack was only this big and it just over time it just got longer and longer and longer until it reached the end. It was yeah, like I said, weird. Um feels really cheap too. So I don't really care that I don't have the charger for that. Um the next find is this Moto E two. Uh this thing works fine. When I got it, uh, it had um, no passcode. Let me turn up the brightness so you guys can see this a little bit better. There, okay, I don't know what happened. It's just adjusted by itself. But um, it's running on Android 5. I believe it's an 8 gigabyte model. Uh, it had, yeah, like I said, it had no passcode originally. So I just wiped it in the settings. So it removed the Google account like that. Um, it's on 5.1 and... Uh, just, I'm pretty sure it's 8 or 16 gigabytes. I can check later, though. Uh, the next find is a Moto uh, X, and it's really messed up, as you can see. Um, I don't, I got it like this. I don't know why it's so messed up. Um, but it shows, like, the lights and everything, but the screen doesn't work. So it works besides that. Also, the back is, like, coming off, too. And it's carbon fiber, so it's pretty cool. I already have one, so I don't really care. Um, and yeah, so the next one, this is a little bit interesting. This is an LG, um, I think it's Leon or Aristo. No, LG Aristo. I'm not sure, though. So that's why I'm not putting this one, like, in the title of the video. Um, anyways, this thing, uh, I, I don't have the back on it right now because I want to show you something. The reason why it has cracks like this and the reason why it doesn't work is actually because if you look closely, look what somebody did. They jabbed it with a screwdriver. I mean, who does that? I mean, that's just really annoying, even though this isn't really a good phone. I can't believe they just ruined it. And then the crack marks right here, right here. It's because of somebody jabbing it with a screwdriver. It's even the little marks of like um like um, one of those flatheads or whatever. And same here. It's just so annoying. That's why this one doesn't work at all. They killed the motherboard on purpose. And um this thing is a BlackBerry X10 or something like that. Uh, it's a pretty nice phone, but my, while I was wiping it, I accidentally pulled out the battery. It works fine besides that, though, so it just gives an, an error now. And, um, like, getting the, um, the, getting it fixed, like, the OS back on it is pretty hard, so I'm just going to do that later. I know how to, though. You need a computer, too, so, yeah. The next find is a Motorola phone. Let's see if you guys want to see for yourself. I forgot the battery for it. I think the battery is in the bin. Um, because most of the time people just remove their batteries for no reason from the phone and then throw them also in the bin. It's weird. It says somewhere over there. But the phone works um, fine, as far as I know. It shows a no battery symbol. I'm not going to prove that because uh, I don't have a charger in range. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it works fine. I actually got one of these before with a bulge battery. Actually, I think a smaller one. Or an older one. And then I smashed it for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> that battery would have been useful. But uh, the next find is this HTC phone. I can actually check in the settings. This one, this thing is old, but it actually had a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, which is uh, pretty cool. So um, if you go into settings, it's very slow too. And it's also cracked. Oh god, sorry, it's lagging. Okay. Uh, let's see. So an Android 4.0.3, and uh, it's an, an 8 gigabyte model. Um, yeah, I forget what it's called. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to make this in a rush. Um, but yeah, that's all for that find. And the next find is this really nice Samsung perfectly mint condition phone right here. I think it's like, like um, I don't know. Uh, but sadly, also, somebody just smashed it like they, they went right into the motherboard right there 
Same with that one. And no, no, they went ham on this thing. They really wanted to uh, mess it up. That, look at that. One there, one there, one there. That is just horrible. Surprised it's not cracked. But yeah, it sucks. Uh, I have the back somewhere. And also, yeah, buy the charger. I mean, buy the port right here. So I can't even put the battery in all the way without forcing it in. Which is really hard to do. So I won't do that right now. Uh, and the last find um, is this iPod um, Classic 5th Generation. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, it's a little bit yellow, just a tiny bit. It's actually like in mint condition, barely cracked. And uh, it's 30 gigabytes, but sadly it doesn't work and I don't know why. Uh, it would be a good iPod otherwise. Anyways, that's all for this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye.